Alright. So now we have our head disappeared. Make sure everything's still good. Uh, I think that'll be... That's probably going to be as good as I'm going to get right now. So now what we're going to need to put in is the blood, the um, muzzle flash, and all that stuff. And so yeah, let's get to that. If you go to my website, itechfxofficial.tk, you can download all these. The blood burst, the muzzle flash, and the gunshot sound. So be sure to download those, unless you already have it. So... Yeah, so now I'll go back to Adobe After Effects. And now let's just drag this blood burst in. And line it up maybe a couple frames before. Maybe one frame before. Yeah, that's about right. Now just position it however you like. Maybe scale it up just a bit, make it a bit more dramatic. You know, everyone likes lots of blood. Uh, hold on, undo that. Okay. And scale it up. So, just check if that's still good. Maybe lower it a bit. So, there we have the blood. But now, that's a bit bright. And I don't know how blood will look or how it will look in your thing. So, just go to Effect, Color Correction, and Human Saturation. And then another effect, you're going to hit, hit Effect and uh, Color Correction, Levels. So now we have these two effects, and that's going to give us everything we need to change this to how we want. So I'm going to change the saturation down. Since this is death, you don't really need blood to be too bright. And that looks good for me change it to however you're using it so we have that and now we're gonna uh, import the muzzle flash so I don't need the effects anymore so let me go to the muzzle flash where's that at here's the muzzle flash so let's line that up alright so now let's just move it hit the W key, hit the V key, and then just kind of line it up. And now it looks like it's kind of going over his heads, but we can fix that. So let's go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe, which is right there. And I'll change the wipe angle to negative 90 degrees, or around there. And put the transition complete up to about not that much, uh, 74, maybe a bit more, 79, no, let's change that to 76, and now feather it about 10 pixels, or 11, or whatever you want, so now we have that muzzle flash, and this looks about done to me, so, let me just RAM preview this. Right. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Now, last thing, add some sounds. There's not a gunshot that does not make sounds. Now, the thing about this gunshot is you're going to have to line it up about two to three frames before because the shot actually happens inside there somewhere. So now let's RAM preview this again. I don't know if you can hear the gunshot, but... So there we go. We have our sound, we have our blood, we have everything we need. So I hope this helps.